So I flew to Houston and then drove to Lake Charles, which is my hometown. And when I got off the interstate, I almost didn't recognize the corner because the trees were long. That was the first Mardi Gras after Hurricane Katrina. And it was really a special Mardi Gras to New Orleanians because there was a big debate about was it right to have Mardi Gras and celebrate after people had died and people had lost so much. This photograph was taken by a Cuban photographer named Raul Carlos. This is a photograph of Fidel Castro. This is Che Guevara. And this is Camilo Sinfuegos. The man who took this photograph named Raul Corrales was the photographer. He lived outside of Havana and he photographed a lot of the revolution. A lot of things I photograph are on the street and they're moving and you just have to be quick. And so you can't ponder it really. You're just kind of going for the moment and the feeling and hoping it works out. And we used to have a joke when I was in the marketing school. We'd say, if you can't make it good, make it big. This photograph was taken during a David Duke campaign rally in the town of Jennings, Louisiana. We're talking to some of the people who were around. There were people there who weren't Duke supporters who happened to be in the shopping center. They lived there. And this one woman was talking about how the David Duke candidacy was uh, dividing the town, dividing the state. Uh, it was really a terrible thing. But the other thing that was really disturbing was to see young people, especially mostly teenage boys who were, and you can see them in the photo here, I mean, they always look like they're saying the Pledge of Allegiance, I mean, they look like they're praying, that were, you know, interested in David Duke and kind of worshiped David Duke. And that was really disturbing. And, and when I left and I was driving back to Lake Charles, I started crying because it was so upsetting. <laughs> I was arrested on the picket line. I was there to photograph during a garbage strike in Santa Barbara. and. I was, my job was to photograph any incidents. <laughs> well, a, a young man crossed the picket line and I knew him, but I couldn't remember his name. And I tapped him on the shoulder, but he didn't see me and he had a sore shoulder, so he jerked away. And so the policeman saw that and um, put my hand, handcuffed me and put me in the police car and they charged him with battery and blocking the sidewalk. What draws me to political photography is that I'm, I'm, a, I'm a child of the 60s. And so I grew up during the, uh, the era of civil rights and I grew up during the Vietnam War.